What's up, Body Warriors, and welcome back to another video, another vlog. Uh, it's definitely been a while. Uh, so yeah, it is, it's been a little while since we've done one of these vlogs. I think probably over a month now, certainly, since I shared anything sort of meaningful, and apologies for that, uh, but life has been a little bit manic. I don't want to be one of those influencers or people complaining online how hard my job is because ultimately there's people with like kids, full-time jobs and many other things that they have to negotiate. I'm just whining like a little kid but ultimately I ended up taking on lots of different projects and, and lots of things happening at the same time and kind of the last month was when that happened and uh, I've certainly figured out where the limit of the stuff that I can do at one time is and then thankfully now things are a little bit a little bit more relaxed. Part of that was to do with my other job, which I chatted to you about in a whole nother video, talking about kind of me planning for the future with, you know, what happens if YouTube isn't a thing anymore. And for me, that was gonna be trying to understand as much as I could um, in these beginner stages of doing some form of property development. So the first one of that was selling my house that I was living in. Hence the reason that I'm now back here in the, uh, the Garden of Tranquility where a lot of the original videos on this channel were filmed. I'm back here for like four weeks and then I am moving into the next house, which the next project, which I'm super excited about. So that was like the main reason, just like mentally had too much things going on and, and dropping the vlogs helped me get through that. But then the second reason is also just the fact that I've been injured. So I just haven't really had much to say, like training has been a bit boring. It's just been like kind of going, grinding through the motions, rehab sort of stuff. But now the shoulder is in a good place. I'm back to doing some more exciting training. I'm back looking at finally getting on more with training the plants. So you kind of want to share that. And um, I'm just, just in a better place to chat shit again on the internet. There's no real point to this vlog. I just kind of wanted to chat and I wanted to get back to making these videos. And if I just sit around and try and think of a topic or something to talk about, I'll never actually get it done. Um, the easiest thing is just to just to film what I'm doing and share it. And then hopefully we'll work back to some more interesting stuff. Just a quick introduction to the vlog. I just want to announce that finally, after a couple of years of, of nothing because of you know the whole situation at the moment um ulrich and i are back to teaching workshops so the first workshop happening this december in london we're super excited to be back it's something i've really missed and i'm looking forward to to meeting everyone who attends there's two different workshops happening the first one is an advanced hands-on one looking at people who want to develop the one arm and then we've got the usual weekend workshop in which we break down the basics of balance as well as developing shapes and the press in the handstand we'll also be looking at body weight skills how to develop the planche the front lever the handstand push up as well as taking some deep dives into flexibility looking at developing the front split the middle split the pancake and that overhead position really we're going to have everything covered for balance strength and flexibility in one workshop so if you want to join that one and maybe fancy a trip to london then i'll link to that in the description down below the early bird runs out relatively soon uh, and i hope to see you there hang out with some like-minded people and just have a good time other than that back to the vlog So uh, one of the other things that's been keeping me busy is, is, is this place. Currently, it's being painted. Kitchen is almost finished. One bathroom is almost finished. And uh, this is what I'm gonna be doing today. So um, I know perhaps a bit of a random one, and if you're not interested in this, then skip ahead, there'll be some training later on in today's video. Um, this is something that I talked about that I've been doing, and something I have a big passion for. I really do genuinely enjoy doing it. It's interesting, like you come across these things in life. Obviously like training was a big one for me, learning about that. That wasn't something that I had to put work into. It's something that I felt very passionate about and just wanted to learn more. And this is the same for me, like I got into this and it's, it's kind of addictive. I can come here and look at my clock and it'll be like eight o'clock and I'm like, oh crap, I need to actually do other things today. I am by no means a, a trade professional. I've learned a lot of this, as I mentioned on YouTube, but then also like working with other trades, learning from them. And I have a, a lot, lot more to learn. So 
So uh, the reason I've only done this much today is that one, hexagonal tiles are the bitch. Uh, two, this is gonna go into the wall, so they need to dig like a little hole here. So I can't tile the whole floor, but I need to tile the floor so I can tile this side. So by doing this, I've basically created the base. If I do it any more in one direction, then I'll probably mess the pattern up and that will be a ball leg, so. <laughs> I'm learning, I'm learning. All right, just, uh, just a couple hours of tidying up bits and pieces for tomorrow. Um, now, I'm gonna go off and create some legs. So I just wanted to finish things up with a little bit of context as to that lower body strength training uh, because this has been a bit of a focus of mine for the past six months. Um, since I had that adductor tear doing the chair splits, I've kind of just felt that my lower body has lacked some development over the last couple of years. It hasn't been a priority. I've been focusing on flexibility, but there's no excuse to not want to be strong as well. And I think this workout illustrates nicely the combination of the two. So firstly, the focus is back on for the Nordic Kel. Now I'm just doing partial reps here. This one is a little bit more just like greasing the groove, feeling out the position still, uh, and really I'm reducing the range of motion so that I can do a hard three reps. The focus here is really on trying to maintain as much as possible that straight body line position. This definitely is the hardest part about this because it's just a harder position to contract the hamstrings in and ultimately makes the lever harder. Plus, uh, I'm, as you know, pretty tall, six foot four, and uh, long levers don't really help this position like many other positions in bodyweight training. But definitely, I'll be sharing some more thoughts on the training for this one. I've got whole vlogs on it, but this is definitely one of the top of the list at the moment in terms of bringing back development of strength. Then the mainstay of the training is really like the bread and butter of lower body strength training, and that is the back squat. Back squat is such a simple movement, but it's such an effective one at pretty much all levels. Really here, I haven't done any proper like weighted leg training for like two years. I've been on and off, very random. Really the focus has been flexibility. So I'm very much at the moment of just building back my base level of conditioning. So the reps are pretty high, the weight is pretty low, and the rest is pretty low as well. So I'm doing about eight to 10 reps, relatively slow tempo. I'm doing only 60 seconds rest and supersetting it with some leg curls. And again, the focus is just on building up capacity getting in some tonnage so just trying to lift weight and and do the work the leg curls that i did combine this with may look a little bit odd and that's because i'm using a geronda style of leg curl so this is in which you lift up the upper body and try to maintain that slight posterior pelvic tilt or that neutral body position as opposed to the hinge one and this is really in relation to that nordic curl again as we mentioned beforehand trying to maintain that straight body position this one just makes more sense in terms of training crossover i mean just just give it a go and kind of feel the difference plus if you do want to train for the nordic curl sometimes it's hard to get that adequate volume in there because you know it's one of those movements that just is intense so leg curl is actually a, a great option at just building up some work capacity in the hamstrings to kind of be able to do that high level movement Finally, finish things off with a little bit of strength flexibility combination. I'm doing some stride stance RDLs or stiff leg deadlifts. This one again, just nice for developing hamstring range of motion, but also conditioning that lower back and the hip hinge because we've got the single leg exercise. We're kind of almost doing double the reps for that lower back. It's a pretty good lower back pump but it also gets nicely into that high hamstring area so right at the top of the glute sometimes is a common place for 
it to get irritated when you're pushing your flexibility works, especially in things like the front split. Uh, and this drill targets that nicely. Finally, we finished up with just some very basic flexibility work, literally a few sets of both front split and middle split just sitting in a position. Not really worried too much here about pushing maximum range. The idea is to build up tolerance and get more exposure in this position, especially with the middle split because I'm really only coming back to kind of approaching more max range sort of stuff after this injury. So I'm just trying to like get into a relatively comfortable position and just hold and build up some strength in those adductors and that extended range. And then for the front split, again, it's just building up tolerance, getting into a sort of supported position, just breathing, spending time there. And again, building up a little bit of strength in that front leg hamstring predominantly, just to be able to sit in the front split a little bit more comfortably. But that's basically it. That's the session. It's, it's, it's quite basic and simple, but really I found over the years, the more complicated my training has got, oftentimes the worse the progress is and, and really if you stay consistent with the basic stuff things tend to go well almost regardless of level especially for the strength training as always this is kind of the first vlog back so things have felt a little bit rusty and i would just really love to hear your opinion on things um, and if you have any requests or any feedback just please let me know in the comment section down below i'd love to hear your opinion otherwise if you enjoyed this video you can always hit that thumbs up button and support the channel right next to it is that subscribe button if you want to join the bodyweight warrior tribe that's basically been it from me and Coach Molly, who you're going to find out about in the next vlog. Uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Have a strong week. And... <laughs> and peace.